the most important thing that will make or break your Etsy store is your mock-up image you use for your listing. How you present your design on your store is everything. You see, there are two major functions of a mock-up. First is to catch customer's eye as they scroll through Etsy search result. And second is to give them realistic preview of how the t-shirt would look on them. Showcasing a good preview image of the t-shirt will boost your conversion rate and turn the visitors into new paying customers. But I see many Etsy listing where the seller simply buys a t-shirt photo and pastes their design on the top of it. Which listing do you think the customers will prefer? The Etsy marketplace is fiercely competitive. Details like this makes the difference. You need to stay ahead of your competition. Fortunately, you have stumbled across this video. Here on this video, I will teach you a quick and simple way to add realism to your t-shirt design. It will make your listing stand out from the crowd and attract more eyeballs. I'll also give you a free access to a secret tool I made for this video that will make your t-shirt images look more real. Make sure to stay till the end of the video where I'll show you a simple workflow that will save hours of your time by making mockups in automatic batches. To make a detailed and realistic t-shirt image for your listing, there are two methods. Method 1 is to actually print your design on your t-shirt and do a photo shoot. This method is costly and time consuming affair and not to mention the ordeal in removing the wrinkles and stain for the shoot. Method 2 is to digitally add realism on your mockup image. Adding realism digitally on your mockup image sounds difficult but it's very simple. If you are not already aware, I want you to introduce to the world of smart object based mockup template. This is a smart object based mockup template. Now instead of pasting the design on the mockup image, I'll just replace the design. And this is the output. Doesn't this look realistic and awesome? Look at how the design follows the curves of the t-shirt. This smart object based mockup templates are PSD files created by mockup professionals. They use their Photoshop skills to add realism to the t-shirt. By realism I mean shadows, texture and wrinkles of the t-shirt. Next time when you buy mockups for your store, check whether it's a smart object based or a JPG based mockup. Unfortunately, Etsy is filled only with JPG mockup photos. But do not worry if you have already purchased JPG based mockup or using your own blank photograph. Because now I am going to teach how you can add similar realism on your JPG mockup with a click of a button. I have this 4 t-shirt jpg image and this sunflower design file. I will digitally add realism onto this t-shirt images. I'll open the first file in photoshop. Next I will go to windows and select action. This will open the action panel. I've created a special action for this process. Shadow map by bulk mockup. It has two actions. One for bright colors and the other for black color t-shirt. I'll select the bright color t-shirt action and click on the play button over here. It has done its magic. The action created a shadow map for this t-shirt image. Next I'll grab our sunflower design and place it over the image. Resize and place the design to your liking. Do not worry if it does not look real. We are just getting started. Now create a duplicate of this design layer. Select the layer and press Ctrl G on your keyboard. Grab and pull down the original design layer underneath the shadow layers. Now I will mask out the shadow group to add shadow on the design. Select your t-shirt background layer. Grab the quick selection tool. Make a selection of the t-shirt. The selection here does not needs to be perfect. Once done, select the shadow group by bulk mockup layer and select the mask. Head over to edit, fill and fill in white color. Press Ctrl D to deselect the selection. There has been some variation in the t-shirt color. Change the opacity of the group to reduce the intensity of the effect. Next, turn off the visibility of the top design layer. Now let me zoom into the design to show how the design has been embedded into the t-shirt. Doesn't this look realistic? This is how it would look if we just pasted the design. And this is the improved version of our efforts.
If you want to tweak the effect, you can play with the opacity of these layers. You may wonder why I duplicated the design layer and kept one copy at the top of the layer stack. I did it to have an easy access to the design layer. I'll first rename this layer to add the red design. To nullify the effect of the top layer, I'll reduce the opacity and fill value to zero. Next time when I need to apply a new design, I do not need to change the underneath layer. I can simply right click on the top layer, select replace content and pick a new design. And a new design is applied so quickly. Changing the top layer had also changed the underneath layer. I have successfully created a smart object based mockup template. I will save this file as a PSD mockup template. Next, I will follow the same steps to turn other images into PSD mockup template. Remember, you need to use darker t-shirt action for the black color t-shirt design. The shadow action I created for this video is available for you to grab it for free. All you have to do is like this video and subscribe to the channel. You will find the download link in the description. The process I showed you is one of the most simple ways to add realism to your t-shirt. I wanted to keep this video simple and easy to understand even for a novice. There are more advanced ways to add realism on your t-shirt design that involves Photoshop liquify filters and displacement map. But that requires advanced Photoshop skills. If you wish to create such advanced template, you can hire a team to create it for you. Or you can purchase such template from sites like Envato Elements or creativemarket.com. I have few recommendations on the description that you can check. Now my process is complete. I have turned all JPG images into smart object based mockup template. Another big advantage of using smart object based mockup template is that you can automate the whole creation of mockup process. I'll just show you how. I'll take these four smart mockups and place them into one folder. I have another folder with five designs on them. Now imagine how much time it would take you to place all this design on those four t-shirt mockup. I will show you how we can automate this. I will use bulk mockup plugin for that. I'll head over to plugins bulk mockup. This is the bulk mockup interface. The first field is for the PSD template folder. I will hit the three dots and navigate to our mockup folder. Next field is for our design folder. I will navigate and select our design file folder. Final and the third field is for the export location. I will create a new export folder. And next I will enter this into this field. Now I will click on start generating. Bulk mockup will open the first mockup template and start placing the designs over it. While bulk mockup does its job, you can go grab a cup of coffee or do any other course. This will only take minutes. I will open the export folder location and you can see how beautiful the exported mockup looks. You can use bulk mockup to create hundreds of mockup design all in automated fashion. It works with all kind of print on demand products. To learn more about bulk mockup, go and visit bulkmockup.com. If you want to automate your mockup creation process, and save hours of your time, you must check out bulkmockup.com. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Do consider subscribing to the channel.